Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Robot Wars Z2.1 Hakai Hen. In the last part we started stage 5 of the uh, Japan route. The uh, second Japan route, that is. Uh, featuring Trider G7. And uh, Wada Takeo. So, without further ado, let us get on with the whole, uh, you know, baddie fighting stuff by spearing this guy with a javelin. Ooh, oh, the lag is already happening, oh dear. Oh well. We can deal with it. We can cope with it. Go, Wada! <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's a knife that just came out of its knee and then extended into a javelin. I'm alright with that. Super robots, everybody. Be be uh, be ready for this level of madness to continue occurring, <laughs> because it's not uncommon. Now, <laughs> if Trider had issues hitting, these guys these guys have even worse hit issues hitting. We'll find out whether this actually works or not right now. But I don't have any other any way to uh, to improve the situation so ac the situation with regards to accuracy. Hey, he hit. Nice. Mm -hmm. That'll do for this turn. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. So, Vulcan missile will definitely not kill you. So let's do that. Ow. <laughs> finger missiles. Lots of finger missiles. <laughs> now. Uh, yeah, well, we'll, we'll let, we'll let try to have this one. As best we can, at least. Assuming we can at least, uh, go for it with weapons that, that I'm certain will actually hit. I'm confident will hit. Yes, there we are. There we go, that's the Axios down, and Wada gets level, as well as a kill. No sk no skills or spirits, but that's okay. And, uh, Anka Koji... An Anka Koji has, uh has picked up the terrorists, but hey, there's a uh, couple of buds over here that we, we've already seen once or twice. Both of them, in fact. <laughs> it's Baron Ashera. How's it going, bud? So, as with uh, every time that Baron Ashera shows up, we've got some Talos soldiers to fight, as well as uh, a Mecha Beast. Or a couple of mecha beasts, might be. No, it's uh, not sure actually. I can't see on the uh, on the map. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we got some. Uh, like I said. <laughs> so we've got on we've got our new SR point. By the way, we have three turns to clear the map, and then fight the. Uh, yeah, we have we have three turns to clear the map, finishing off the uh, the boss last. The. Uh, the new Mecha Beast, this guy. The uh, <clears throat> what's it called? Not a cargo. Not a cargo H2. Looks like there are just some Talos soldiers, T Talos statues. So they aren't that bad. Okay, so the shuttle's going to come over here to uh, give a bit of get a bit give a bit of uh, offensive and defensive support to our uh, our Trider. As I said, we only have three turns, which is unfortunate. Okay, sure. Sure, I'm alright with that. Because at the very least, you guys... Uh, you you guys are, breeze are fairly easy to hit. So the shuttle should be able to deal a fair amount of damage to you guys. <laughs> More missiles, go. 
We missiles. There we are. Cool. Didn't get a kill, but that's okay. You guys are coming up. That's okay. The boss is also moving. That's a good thing. Because it means that uh, when we, when the crushers inevitably show up, um, <laughs> we should be able to get to them, get get to it pretty easily. Yeah. So. Uh, the Iron Masks are uh, doing some threatening things, like th threatening child children, as our, uh, as as the comic book style villains uh, that, that they truly are. <laughs> and we got some buds turning up. It's uh, Cross, uh, Yazu the Weasel, and uh, Okiku. And uh, yeah, we got uh, the Master and Django as well. AKA the Kurgan A5. <laughs> and, uh, finally. <laughs> a minute now. We got Tsubasha Nishikori. Nishikori, rather. And, uh, yeah. We're here. The crashes have arrived. I'm not really sure what else goes on. So we got, uh, oh yeah, um, Crow and friends are have gotten a bit confused by the fact that a child is piloting the uh, piloting the trader. But uh, the fact that he introduces himself as as the uh, the CEO of, of Takeo General kind of just doesn't help. It kind of confuses them even more. So uh, yeah, as I said. Diegard actually has functional armor on it right now. Still not great, but it's better than 300. It also has a little bit more HP, a little more mobility, and more energy as well, which is great. It's still terrible against the air, however, and has only 5 move. It's one more than it had, but it's still trash in terms of movement. It also has two more weapons, the finger net arm and the drill arm. None of these weapons are good against air. They have a B at best. This will be a serious problem at some point. Not right now, but at some point. Now the finger net arm has four shots and, mo and inflicts mobility down, which is quite nice to have, but not particularly important. And the drill arm can pierce uh, shields and barriers and things. But hey, anyway. We've got a bit more, a few more uh, important matters to, to attend to than talking about our uh, our units. Aside from uh, complaining about the fact that Akagi is still so slow, we got some. Uh, as I said, we got some Talos soldiers to fight against. Talos statues. I keep calling them Talos soldiers for some reason. Oh well. Just focus them down so that we can uh, use the damage. And Koji can't quite reach, which is a pain. Oh yeah, actually, no, no, he can, because he learned Excel last turn, last last map. Awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna have Koji start pounding away at the uh, at the boss. So that we can weaken him a little bit. Seeing as we only have two turns to fight him off. Mm -hmm. Go, Koji! Rocket punch! Mm. Oh, yeah, I missed something on, on Die Guard as well. Okay, that's a bit of damage. That's nice. Oh hey, Ashura's in this one. Or in, but like controlling this one directly. Oh no, electric shocks. Ow, 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 ow. Damage to Mazinga. Wow. <laughs> On the downside, uh, I've had I've had my accuracy lowered by it, because apparently that uh, the electrical shock has hit down on it, on it, uh, which is which kind of sucks. And uh, Sayaka's over here. She can do a bit, I suppose, if we if she can reach. I don't think she can reach anything right now. And 
Uh, let's see. Wara has a little health. Has has most of his health left. Mm -mm. So if I land, I can reach this building, which gives me 10% defense and 15 evade, which is pretty good. I think I might take that. Just, uh... Yeah, there we are. I'm not a huge fan of the Trader, I'll be honest. So, uh... Sorry about that, but, uh... I'm gonna have, uh, the shuttle just try to heal the, uh... Heal up. That'll do for the moment. Let the enemies have a turn and come pounding against us again. It's you, uh, okay, you just decided to, uh, to fight Crow. I'm fine with that. We're not actually going to show the animation, just, uh, let it go. This might hit, might be good. Yeah, nice, the shuttle got another kill, I'm amazed. Doesn't happen very often, let me, let me just assure you of that. Let's use the Trider Cutter, why not? Let me just check something. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Trider Cutter! Oh, what a... Disappointed me. I'm fine with you doing that. These Tala statues are dead already. You, you're dead. Using the Rust Hurricane is a good thing. Is anything... Oh, bollocks. That's not great. Okay. So we only have one turn to finish the map now. That sucks. So uh, I checked the SR point. It's actually clear the map within three turns of the Mecha Beast's arrival. But it doesn't say anything about... Uh, to, uh, it's, it's clear the map within three turns of the Mecha Beast's arrival. It doesn't say about any, anything about the order in which they, uh, in which they must be cleared. Which is a good thing, because, uh, because uh, I really need to focus on clearing them as quickly as possible, really. And uh, taking down the boss is probably for the best. Ta if, if it's probably for the best if I take out the boss quickly, because he has the ability to outrange most of the units on this team. Because being, su being uh, early, early super robots, they have pretty terrible uh, range. <laughs> I only have the Kagi's gain, just for the hell of it, really. Bye bye. Uh, so you're going to heal and uh, come on up. Well, uh, try to. He's gonna come over here and uh, try to cut down a bunch of these guys. Alrighty then. Now Sayaka can't reach anything, but can with her Aphrodite missiles. That's good. Any amount of damage that uh, that we can hit the boss with before he can attack us is good. Is a good thing. Now let's guarantee that Koji hits both of these this time, shall we?
<laughs> Breast of fire! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just blast you apart. Melt it to slack. Ah, that's that is that is not a great sign. Actually, no, it's fine because uh, because the because uh, crow can shoot at you. I forgot. I forgot crow was here. Uh, but he's gonna be able to hit me. That hurt. Okay, so this turn, these two need to kill themselves on somebody. I need that to happen. And then the boss needs to kill itself on somebody as well. Otherwise, I'm losing the SR point. This could be, an, if, if both of them attack the shuttle, then that could be a problem because the shuttle has no way to guarantee that it hits. Okay, that's not too bad. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, good. And the boss is going to kill himself on Koji. Cool. In that case, I'm going to cut the video here. I will see you guys next time when we finish the map by, and uh, go over the plot and stuff. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye, everybody.